I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Flink. We're going to be back with knives again today. Now, what I'm talking about here is a technique that I talked about in a short. I don't know how many of you have seen that short, but it is just called toss and throw. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're tossing the knife and you're throwing it. But with just having a maximum of one minute, I really couldn't go into it that much. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. I did mention on there that you do not want a sharpened edge knife. You want something like this, this throwing knife, where it's thick, no sharp edges whatsoever. The point, that's something that you're still going to have to avoid. And as you may see by the palm of my hand, I got a couple of spots here where I did stick it the other day. Uh, so you have to be very, very careful. This isn't for somebody that just starts out and starts throwing. Uh, you want to toss it. As I said, you can toss it with either hand. You can toss it and catch it with the same hand, or you can toss it and catch it with this, your throwing hand, whichever you want to do. Now, the knives themselves. Again, I've already touched on the fact you don't want to sharp. That's why you never use a kune. Kunais are sharp both ways, extremely sharp point and very sharp edges, so no, don't use those. You want something that's about like this, and I'll show you some others here. I'll grab a bunch of them, just hang on. I've got a whole handful of them here, and we're going to be throwing these and seeing how it works. In fact, I've got one that I'm not too sure about. I've really never tried to toss and throw with that, but uh, this one, of course, I'd already shown you. I have, and it works well. This one is about the same thing. In fact, this is a little bit different model of that one. A uh, different tip. Very thick tang over here, thin one here, but again, it's not a sharpened edge. This one is a Magnum Stork. Now, I've used the Storks a lot. Again, no sharpened edge. It's got a very thick tang. This is a 14 inch knife, 14 ounces, so heavier. Here's one that's a cold steel, a little lighter weight knife, but again, the edges are not sharp, and it is a good throwing knife. Here's another one, same type, it's in that same family of the throwers that they have, and uh, this one has got somewhat of a sharp edge, so that one you might want to kind of, eh, either that or take a file and dull it. Here's another one. This is a pro thrower, uh, the, as they call it, pro balance. This is again a cold steel product, and I'm not sure about this one. I've never done this before with it, so we're going to find out. The reason being is that handle. I like to have the handle that's as thick as the rest of the knife, actually. Again, we've got a Lafouque Stork. This is not, this is the original one, the 10 inch one. It weighs around 10 ounces. This one is called a black sword. Now it's made for half spin uh, or full spin. So doing a no spin, the only type of no spin I do with this is a whippet style. I have never had much success at doing it this way on it. It's just been a close type of a thing. And this toss and throw is actually done for a closer line, about right here. Like, see if you're going to whip it. Just like that, um, that's what you're going to do with it. Now that went in there pretty gal got good, as you can see. Now this depends on actually how you catch this knife, as, as I said before, as to how you're going to throw it. Now, uh, let's start with the black sword, since I've got it in my hand, and I'll show you. I'll try throwing it with this end, catching it with this one, and we'll see how it works. There you go. That was a half spin. Took it and I threw it. And I caught it. I caught it right here. <laughs> so I had the whole blade. I had to do something a little bit different to get that irregular half spin. Otherwise what I'd have done is thrown it forward before I threw it this way. But it stuck at half spin. So now we're going to try one of the others. What do you say we try the original Lafouque Stork? And well, again, we'll flip it with this hand, we'll catch it with this one, and we'll throw it. That one was a no spin because I caught the handle on that. Oh, so, let's go to the next one. In fact, let's grab the Magnum Stork. 
Now this is the Magnum Stork. I don't think I've ever flipped it like this and tossed it. This is going to be a little heavier. 14 ounce knife, so. Whoa, it's right out there. Oh, well, got it. So that's the, that's the trick. Catch the knife in the air and then throw it. It'll work pretty good. I just had to reach out a lot further. Now here's one of the JXE JXO spikes and you know flip it with this hand, try to catch it with this one. Try not to throw it out so far this time. There, another half spin. So that was one of the uh, spikes. There we are here. I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, I see one down here. Alright, this is another spike. Put it in his hand, toss it. Got it. Half spin. And that point hit right here, but it didn't hurt me that time. Okay, this one is the Cold Steel Flight. This is a very lightweight one. It's one of the 10 inch ones, so I don't know how this is going to work. That's, that's another thing. You want something with some decent weight to it. Usually I say around 10 ounces, maybe drop it to 9. Yeah. But like that one, that's 14 ounces. So let's try this one. Even flips different. But it's stuck. Bullseye. Here's another flight. Uh, this is also the same thing. It's, it feels lightweight too, upside of some of those others, so let's see how we catch this one. That was another half spin catch. Okay, now this one's the Pro Balance. Uh, I'm not too sure about this. One reason is because of the handle. It's a completely different type of handle. Everything's different about it excellent spin thrower um, and half spin is kind of eh. so we're going to try it see what happens here well it worked threw it half spin and I grabbed it again full blade to do a half spin on it and that's the thing you have to judge your techniques sometimes you have to alter it a little just like I did with that so now Let's pick them all up and see if I can do them all. I moved you around a little bit because I want you to get a good shot at this and I'm going to be doing things differently. You can see this hand's loaded with knives, so I'm going to be tossing and throwing with this same hand. Let's get started. That one I had to kind of fumble around with. Ah, the big one. Fell out, but she stuck. Whoa, that one kind of got away from me, didn't it? There. That one came right at me. That one hit the other knives. This one is the weird one, but it stuck. Okay, that's how they landed. They hit the things. I mean, it should have stuck without a doubt, but it hit the other knives, just couldn't get in there because you could see there's quite a few right in the middle of that bullseye. Anyway, that's what we did with it. Uh, that last one, I got stuck just a little bit down here, evidently, on that one that kind of fluttered around. But that's what I said, you got to kind of watch it on those points. But that's what you do. You either toss it with one hand, catch it, Since and we had throw. those down on the ground, what do you say we give these another chance? Right on the end of the handle. We're going to do it again. I stuck this right smack on the end of that handle, so... And this would happen to be the heavy one, but I got it. So they're all in there. Had to throw them a couple of times on two of those, but it hit all the knives for one reason. There wasn't any place for it to stick. Anyhow, that's toss and throw. So if you're trying it, make sure that you're careful and that you're more towards the experienced knife thrower because this is not something for beginners to try. So until next time, shoot safe, throw safe in this situation, and have a great day of planking.